fine, thank you. And uh, I'm here tonight for the fans. Uh, the first time I've ever been here. So I'm going to try to do a good show. Yes, I started off from the, in, the, in the early 70s, uh, but we started off with a group called uh, the, uh, the Aliens. And it was Barry Brown, me, and Johnny Lee. It was a lit, it was a, it was the beginning of the group. It, uh, in those days, uh, I was uh, singing alone, along the way, alone. After we uh, we uh, get together with this group by uh, Barry Brown Place, because I used to go around Barry Brown Yard, and also. We come together. We decide to co to come together and do something. So Barry Brown was the leader of the group, and Johnny D was a backing vocal, and me I was a backing vocal. So we carry harmony. Mm. So the group was the uh, name. Uh, the name of the group is the Aliens. But we never prolonged too long, because after a time everybody we stopped. To, uh, we separate and start to do our thing alone, the solo singer. So I was always alone. In that, in those days. So after, word, we never start recording as yet. But Barry was recording before me for Bonnie Lee, and me, I was on the other side recording. For no, not even really recording starting. Just about to. In those days, anyway. So we start this this little group, and afterward. We don't stay too much time because we have a problem with the group and we separate. Okay. There, was there was a title of a song uh, by the name Garden of Eden. And Bonnie he made a mistake and yeah. put the name of Barbara on. You know. So anyway, the song was uh, released uh, afterward, but after... Uh, we sort out that thing, the, the problem, the, the mistakes. So from there, I, I only do one song for Bonnie Lee, normally. normally. But the first song was really Ozzy for Ozzy Ebert. And he was an engineer from uh, Channel One and also a producer. But the way I, I get to know him, there was a show when breaking up with the band, with the group. I was a solo singer in those uh, in that time, and after I get in contact with Mr. Hamilton from the Boymer Club. So this man, he always have amateur shows along the way with you young artists coming up, and I was one of them. So I was get selected there. So fortunately, I uh, I get the show, and after I won the show, I win the show, won the. So it was a song of uh, the song by the name, the title is uh, Sea of Love. Mm. And I was, uh, I was the first right. out of eight person win the show. And then from there, I meet Ozzy Ebert. Okay. That's how I get to record the first song mm. in my life. The first song, it's uh, the title. The name of that song, it's A Bad Man Comes and Go. Oh, yes, and yes, fortunately, yeah, it was Sly and Robbie, they play The Bad Man Comes and Go, and they was the musician for that, and I uh, meet also Dillinger there too, because he was the DJ, he said, oh, I like that song, hey, my, my, a good singer, man. what I'm singing, I'm going to do something on this, so that's how I meet Sugar, uh, Dillinger, Dillinger, hear the tune and say, ah, oh, man, this tune, bad, my youth. <laughs> and I say, yeah, I'm alive, it's true. I'm, I'm not talking about the time. I'm not going to sing something about it. So, go on, as he said, go on, go on, do it now. And him do it, and it, no choking about the hygiene. <laughs> and did enjoy. He said, like, so the, the song was all, it was it, because it was uh, my first recording. Mm. And it was all right. And I, I, I went through many adventures uh, in, in the business, and uh, it was it was like, it was my, it's my, I like that, you know, because it's, it's, uh, it's my, it's my type of uh, way of getting to know things. <laughs> From that connection, 
I meet inside the place where there was many people, many all around because it, they come to see the show. But in the audience, there was producers, people that uh, you know, in the business, and so they see, see, uh, saw the show and they they like the vibes of the show. So they I get to I, I think I meet many artists like uh, some artists, a few artists like. Black Uru was there. I meet uh, so Earl Zero, and that's the way I get the contacts to go and Azibur too. So that is the time I get these contacts from Azi plus uh, Earl Zero, and he introduced me to Mr. Brown from uh, Greenwich Town, which uh, the label was the name of that producer uh, label. It's Freedom Sounds. So I record. I get the contact with him after I go and check him after he was uh, he said sing two songs for me eh? and I sing two songs and he liked them King David in the right way he like he said I like them so I said ah, I want to record that soon I said check me back on next day. so eventually I record those songs and the song was uh, really a uh, it monster it but that, that it's before no a bad man comes and go I don't want to get it mixed up because Bad Man Comes and Go was my first song in the night in the 70, 1975 released by Ozzy Bird. But afterward, there was a, a delay of you know time, so I could I, I, was, I could get to go to Greenwich Town and walk up and down with King Toby. So, you know, as artists, we always walking up all over the place looking for some progress to the record because we want to record so. Eventually, I uh, meet Mr. Brown, so that was that was a great time, and the song was it. It was distributed by, uh, I think, uh, Federal Records, and uh, and after no Federal Records, they uh, they went up in bankruptcy, so they closed. So from that time, we start off with uh, different connection with Michael Campbell because Michael Campbell heard that song and was uh, really interested to meet me by her ear he put it over the ear you know and said yeah I want to meet this Rod Taylor and this and he sent a message so I get it so I meet Michael Campbell and uh, we make a meeting with uh, Eddie Fitzroy I see him meet Pam Hall all those singers Earl 16, Sugar Miner, there was in the Passy. So that's how, and Opton Linda too. I don't, I don't want to leave out no name. Everybody is there. So all these names is, was there, was in the, uh, was in the Passy, you know? So I record the song is uh, the, uh, by the name of Imperial Majesty. That song was big hit again. After, by those time, I was uh, really popular all over the island of Jamaica. Yeah? <laughs> All these producers, they are they are nice person. The best producer is Mr. Bertram Brown. Yeah. The best one that okay. for me, <laughs> and yeah. Mikey Campbell to the second, but Mr. Bertram Brown, the number one. Yeah. Exactly, and the tape was uh, it cannot be found because the, the tape maybe was taken stolen or taken away by someone who really I don't know, but mm -hmm. we cannot find the tape. And in those same in those times too, it's not sugar miners alone. There was a recording tape was missing also from uh, uh, Linval Thompson, and also missing from King Toby's too. There was three tapes missing, so all these uh, production cannot be found, and we don't know where they are. <laughs> well, that's kind of sad, but maybe yeah, one day I don't, I don't know. Find maybe them. maybe we can <laughs> find them. In, in Japan, somebody released them out far, and we don't know. So that was lost. The pretty, it's called Pretty Africa. Have you heard of it? Yeah, the, oh, yeah. And the, the, um, they say that album, that tape was lost, and yeah, they find they, it, but no, it, no, it's you see, it? it's they, a, they, well, it's the same say. thing. It's gonna. They wait until <laughs> they wait until and until the per, the artist die. That they wait on, until I'm gonna die, but I'm not gonna die now. I was uh, in France. I come in France 1980, no, 1991, and I was 
I come here and I move to London. I move from London to France. I meet Patat and we get to do this compilation. But Patat, it was just a compilation of many songs, songs that was released before, uh, out there a long time. So we have to complicate the com and put them on the compilation. So Patat was the one who get this this authority, mm. the, the authority to do so. So from me. Okay. So we are, uh, we are. Uh, so confirm he pay that amount of money, cause I take some money for that, you know. So it was released and was um, now I plan plan. So we have, we also we're gonna talk about that that part of that that uh, CD. It's a Positive Roots band. That CD was uh, produced by me, Positive Roots band, and the crew. Which is me, Bob Wasser, and Positive Roots, and this album. And we have a, this was our project for the Positive Roots Band. And the, this project, it comes out and it, it, it's going, it's do well anyway. And uh, I have another project coming in, which is, which is my personal project. It's the name of this project, it's an album. And the name, the title, is The Black Spartacus. And it it would be releasing very soon. I can't tell you which date, but it's gonna be released soon. Thank you for your time.